This is Gene Key for SkyServ News. KHOU.com has this story from Waller County, Texas. Authorities are trying to track down the missing pilot of a pot-filled plane that made a hard landing at a small airport in Brookshire Monday night. The twin-engine aircraft made an unscheduled landing at Houston's Executive Airport located at 1900 Cardiff Road around 7.15 p.m. Investigators said there was no communication with the tower and no mayday was ever called. Investigators said it appears the plane's front nose gear was damaged or missing. The nose went down on the airfield, then skidded off into the grass. The pilot was gone by the time emergency crews arrived to the field, but there was cargo left inside, a load of marijuana. Investigators said it appears whoever was aboard tried to carry the bricks of marijuana off the plane, but bolted and left a significant amount behind. Investigators won't say exactly how much pot was found, only mentioned it was quite a bit. Multiple law enforcement agencies began a manhunt to find the suspect or suspects who were on the plane, but came up empty-handed. Investigators are now trying to track down the owner of the plane. Authorities said the plane has not been reported stolen, and they're working with the FAA and Homeland Security investigators to determine the actual status of the aircraft. At the Travis County Courthouse, a state representative pleaded guilty Tuesday to a third-degree felony charge of abuse of official capacity. KVUE.com reports, Representative Joe Driver, a Dallas-area Republican, used taxpayers' money to reimburse himself for travel expenses that his campaign had already paid. The charge against him specified an amount between twenty dollars and $100,000. He will be sentenced on December the 19th. Prosecutors are recommending five years' deferred education and a $5,000 fine. He'll also repay the state almost $64,000. A Sam Houston State University's honors student, who authorities say had a blood alcohol level almost four times the legal limit when her vehicle slammed into another in a deadly wrong-way crash, has been sentenced to 15 years in prison. Bethany Lee Dinman pleaded no contest in September to an intoxication manslaughter charge in the death of 53-year-old Amy Marin. Marin's vehicle was hit head-on in 2010 as Denman drove on the wrong side of the road after leaving a San Antonio restaurant. This is Gene Key for SkyServe News.